Topic 11.3, antiderivatives of functions yielding exponential functions and logarithmic functions. In this lesson, we will present the basic formulas for integrating functions that yield exponential and logarithmic functions. But before that, let us first recall the following differentiation formulas. Recall that the derivative of e raised to x with respect to x is equivalent to e raised to x. That's actually rule number 8 sa ato ang differentiation rule. Na aputay different derivative of a raised to x with respect to x is equivalent to a raised to x ln of a. So unsa yung difference ani? Kaning a dere is constant na na. Euler's number na siya e. While kani, kaning a dere is a nic other constant. Meaning that will represent, let's uh, example na, musulti kag function na uh, example ha. Matantag example function. One. Let's say, an example aning a function is say 2 raised to x. Oh. Example na anang a raised to x. Pero kaning a raised to x, a raised to x na gina siya. Pwede po ka ng a, asa id anak, pwede po ka mahimog 3 raised to x. Another example po na anak. Meaning, kaning si a dere is rep, uh, represents any other function, uh, any other constant na pwede ibutang except ay e, kaila na pong there is e. And lastly, ang ikatulo is ang derivative sa ln of x. And we all know with respect to x, ha? derivative of ln of x with respect to x, and we all know that is 1 over x. So, we have to recall that because dari na to basihan ang ato ang anti-differentiation. So, because anti-differentiation is the inverse operation of differentiation, the following theorem should be immediate. Meaning, follow up ato. So, meaning, integral ni e x dx is also e x, e raised to x, I mean, plus c. Okay, again, kung ato e kung atong i-differentiate ni si e raised to x ang labas ana kung mag-derivative ta kang e raised to x e raised to x man so mao gyapon ang answer di ba mao na next kani second is integral ni e a raised to x dx it's actually kani asa ko na gikan di ba we have a x over ln of a. If we differentiate this one, recall tong ganina. Nga pag mag-differentiate daw ka, kung a raised to x, kani ang answer. So, ato nang gamiton. So, actually, kanang ln of a is a constant mana. So, copy lang na ln of a. De derivative sa a raised to x, diba? a raised to x ln of a. O, mana tong naadha, nara. So, kung i-cancel na to na, so a raised to x ang answer. Mau ng a raised to x. So, that's another theorem. And lastly, ang integral ni x raised to negative 1. So, which is equivalent to integral ni 1 over x. And, ang answer ana is ln of the absolute value of x plus c. So, these are the theorems na atong mga gamiton in answering our exercises na i-discuss. So, for example one, how, to, how do we apply? Ang uh, instruction is we are asked to find the integrals of the following functions. I have four integrals there. Integration problem. And let's discuss that individually. So, First, an example, I mean, problem number one, which is the integral of e raised to the integral of the quantity e raised to x plus 2 raised to x dx. And not a plus, meaning addition of function as ya. And naaman tay rules ana nga pag addition of function, pwede ragid na to isay sahon og integrate. Then integrating this one, na aman tong integral niya integral ni e, e 
raise to x dx is just e raised to x. Well, na, nahimong e raised to x na liha. Well, kami, we use katong second theorem, which is kani. Okay, in the form a raised to x man siya. Anong matawag na tong in the form a raised to x? Because ang base na to is constant. So, <coughs> again, ang integral anak basta a raised to x is upyahon lang to ni mong 2 raised to x over ln of 2. Ang base ni mo. Then again, don't forget to add plus c. So, that's how to solve the integral of of exponential to <coughs> ng mga function. Another example, kani. We have here integral of 3 raised to x dx. So, this is using theorem 2. Patong integral ni a raised to x, which is a raised to x over ln of a plus c. So, manang form na to. So, ang a raised to x na to, mo ni. Kaya ang a na to actually dia is ang 3. 3 raised to x, ln of 3. Then, again, don't forget your plus c. So that's your answer. Sample, 3 ta. We are asked to integrate 3 raised to x plus, 3 raised to the quantity of x plus 1 dx. This time, Actually, wala tay chain rule sa anti-differentiation. So, pag ingani nga given, okay lang unta kung 3 raised to x lang. Wala problema, diretso na ta. Pero naman goy x plus 1. So, ang kailangan ni mo buha na na is isimplify ni. How do you simplify that one? Ibulago ni mo siya. Using the power rule. Diba ang power rule na to? Diba kung x squared times x cube di ba equivalent to x raised to 5 meaning kung x raised to 5 siya pwede ni magbulagon as in ani so same lang na diha kaya ang exponent niya is x plus 1 pwede ni magbulagon as in ani ay kung imuha nang i-apply ang power rule copy ang base nga 3 tapos i-add ang mga exponent which is balik na dito so ang purpose na nung giing anak na because kaning 3 raised to 1 actually is a constant. Because 3 raised to 1 is all, is 3 man. So, since constant multiple siya, pwede ra siya ipalabas sa ah? integral sign. Para ang problema ni mo is kanina lang. Then, kabalo naman kang ang integral aning 3 raised to x is, which is integral of a raised to x mana dx. And we all know that Ang integral ana is a raised to x over ln of a plus c. So, muna ning, na kay 3 raised to x, ln of 3. Tapos na ay 3 daan, which is kana mana. Then, again, don't forget your plus c. So, that's the final, this is the final answer. Okay, I hope naka-follow. And lastly, we have here integral of 2 over x dx. Again, we don't have uh, division rule sa anti-differentiation. And wala na po kayo mabuhat ani, mag-divide. So, ang pwede lang ni mo mabuhat is since kani si 2 is a constant, we can apply constant multiple rule niya na pwede na to factor out lang. Para kanina lang, 1 over x na lang mabilin. And using theorem 3, sa tong theorem 3, Integral ni 1 over x is just equivalent to ln of the absolute value of x plus c. So, mga na, na, na ito daan because na ama na constant multiple na to then ln of x na ta plus c. So, this is now your final answer. So, nga to lang kasimple mangita o simple gedhang term ha. Actually, simple siya pero may uban challenging lang. So, nga to kasayon ang mga examples. So, ang mga examples. So, hopefully, na kuha ang process how to solve um, integrals involving exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, that's all about anti-derivatives of functions na 
exponential and logarithmic. Thank you and see you next session.